There's the electrician and he must be tying in down here. Hopefully soon the power switch will be flipped. All right, here's a shop update on July 27th. Painting is done. Although it has been hot and sticky and nasty, so it may need some touch up, but it's done and the shop is hot in at least having two outlets. Uh, the rest of it's not hot, but it's for temporary use. There's an outlet and there's one down there. So it is hot as far as we could plug stuff in for now. And in the coming days, he'll continue to wire it. And hopefully this weekend, my hardworking, lovely wife will epoxy this and it'll be then almost ready to start taking stuff in. Got this view obviously past that junk pile, but this is from the shop up on top of the hill. Right, we're sitting pretty much just in front of where the house is gonna be. This is all a mess because I'm down right now. This needs to be mowed. There is sunflowers right in this patch right here. There's a little micro plot right down this path about 50, 60 yards from the house. Let's check it out. This is on the, closer to the east side of the property. Looks like the weeds are taking over here again. Been overseeding, been fertilizing. It's been a real struggle with Mother Nature this year. Real struggle. Everything you need, she does the exact opposite. I mean, I could see chicory and I could see alfalfa but I see a lot of grass weeds. I'll keep at it. Well, there's no oh, another one. I see some antlers. This is the south. This is south of the lane. The house is going to be behind us a hundred some yards. see in the middle is our property line that bushy line we've got about two acres of beans planted here that don't look so good obviously very nice though we're in the bean field there we're up to 10 so far that's a good start and they're all does and yearlings but that's a good start. You need binoculars. Going back up the lane here, the house is gonna be up about 150 yards up the lane. All right, here's a look from the bottom, kind of looking up. My wife was just kind of complaining about how big my shed was. Took up the whole lane up there, which it kind of does. So here, this is that little bonus deer stand in that patch of trees. Here's a patch of corn. There's a patch of corn, but they've got it all eaten down, so it's useless. And the house is going to be basically where that white tank is right there. And these high line power lines will be gone because we're going to bury them up here. There's that deer tower hidden in there. That's important stuff, you know. Right, babe? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Look at the pond, and here is the berm that we've put a lot of work into. 
looking really good. This used to all be woods. Now it's going to be a nice walking path that I can mow. We're going to try a couple casts. We just had a rain. First rain in several weeks. And guess what? It wasn't torrential. Good luck has finally struck a little bit anyways. While I was down getting updated from the electrician, the first semi-load of gravel came, which it looks like they put it up here on the corner maybe, unless this is excess, but I'll show you the same thing as what I'm seeing for the first time. So I'm gonna guess this was excess, although maybe he saved a little for this corner because this is one of the soft spots. And we're using one inch instead of three inch I know some people will argue that but we will not like three inch at all because uh, it's heck on your tires it's bumpy and once you get the three inch base down you can never really grade very well without pulling up that three inch I know from experience so the road should be shaped well enough we might have to repair a couple soft spots but otherwise it'll be one inch and then CA six or three quarter inch on top of it after the house is all done. So there's the first load. Very nice. Trying to catch the next truck that's dumping up there. Cause I haven't got any on video yet. Looking pretty good so far. I think he's spot checking, just hitting the softer spots, which is just fine. There we go, we have a base layer of gravel on the driveway. July 27th, 2016. 